Throughout the year, many transaction batches are created and posted. Monitoring this activity can be beneficial for a single batch or for the entire year. The Batch Status Inquiry screen may be opened from the Batch Inquiry button on the toolbar. Or from the Inquiries menu, select Batch Status and the desired batch type. From here, a summary of transaction volume and amounts for each activity status type is displayed, along with a detailed list of batches for the current year. Each batch type is available for selection at the top of the screen. The columns on the batch list grid are customizable, using the column editor to include information of particular interest. And the screen can be resized to fit all of this information appropriately. The grid contents can be exported with a single click to an Excel spreadsheet for further analysis as desired. Batch reports may be reprinted directly from this inquiry screen, even for posted or deleted batches. For either a single batch or a selection of consecutive batches, click the Print Listing button, select Options, and generate the report. If selected batches are not consecutive, the batch list report will not allow to be printed. For posted batches, for a selection of one or more consecutive posting sequences, the Posting Journal report may be printed from the Print PJ button. As with the batch listing, options may be edited for the report prior to printing. If a transaction batch was deleted by mistake, or if you wish to make a copy of an already posted batch, this can be done using the Recover process for any combination of posted or deleted batches from the grid. Click the Recover button to create a new batch based on these selected batches. For more complete information regarding batch recovery, access this link to the Show Me training video. The buttons for Recover Batches and also for printing the batch listing and posting journal reports are controlled by menu level security. If the security group assigned to this user is configured to not allow access to maintenance recover batch or the batch listing or the posting journal report, then the respective buttons on the batch status inquiry screen will also be inactive. A standard report is available to print batch information, accessible from the Reports menu and the General Reports flyout menu, choosing Batch Status. This report prints a list of batches of a specific transaction type. In addition to a batch number range, you may also limit batch selection to the method that the batches were created, and also the activity status. The contents of this report are strictly at the batch level and do not include entries nor details. Records for the current year are maintained until year-end processing is performed and the new year is started, in which case batch numbers are all reset to 1. Inquire on batch status information, including for those posted or deleted. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these links on screen or from the video description. Thanks for watching.